Smart 91. I'm reviewing uh, the movie Gifted, uh, starring Chris Evans, McKenna Grace, and uh, Octavia Spencer. This is Mark Webb's newest uh, drama. After 500 Days of Summer, which is a comedy drama, and after the Spider-Man, uh, Amazing Spider-Man's 1 and 2, he returned to his uh, dramatic roots. He actually does a really, really good job at the storytelling of this movie. I didn't know what to expect when I was going in. It is one of those movies I have to say that the trailer basically shows essentially the plot. There's not much more to it, but the acting was really, really, really well done. The uh, little girl, uh, McKenna Grace, uh, she portrays a seven-year-old intellectual child of... Uh, intellectual child and uh, how she's transitioning in a custody battle between her uncle and her grandmother after her uh, after her mom passed away and um, basically the battle is just basically going on to where her life should lead if she's good she should go to an intellectual school or if she should stay with her dad because her dad might not be able to provide for her what they deem worthy, but what he deems worthy is 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 a different matter. It's it's a really heart wrenching movie in that sense. It actually deals with a lot of uh, real issues that um, happen on an everyday basis that we don't know of. Um, it's um, it's truly heart wrenching. And Chris Evans, it was really refreshing to see him in a in a, in, a, in a role that wasn't uh, Captain America recently. I mean. He, as far as I can tell, recently, aside from Captain America, in 2009 he did that movie Push. In 2010 he did a comedy with Anna Faris, What's Your Number I think it was called, and he did a movie called Losers with an ensemble cast. Aside from that, he's been doing Captain America for quite a few years now, and he hasn't been doing much else. And, uh, I guess he didn't have the time to branch out. It was actually, actually really refer refreshing to see him in this movie. He ha actually has quite a lot of acting talent in him. And it's already been present before. He he really went the mile on this one, I feel. He had a great chemistry with the young uh, actress who played her niece. Uh, his niece, sorry. And it's, um, it was extremely well done. The writing's, uh, the writing's really well done. Um, it was actually one of, your, one of those edge of your seat things. It uh, really kept me engaged. It really... I mean, I kind of saw where the movie was going because you see these movies all the time, right? It's not the first time something like this was done. Uh, but I actually am really happy I want to check it out. I just came out of Fast and Furious 8 after and I went right into this one and I almost decided not to go because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, focus on it after what I sat through for Fast and Furious. But uh, I do not regret my choice. I did sit through it. I did enjoy it. I'd actually have to say that I give it a good eight out of ten. Um, it was a really, 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 really well done movie. Quite a lot of insights to experiences in the past, I guess. And yeah, if you saw the movie, I mean, if they showed it in any of your local theaters, I don't know how widely it's going to get released. Uh, let me know what you thought, you know, and uh, keep posting, guys. Have a good one.